Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Combat Mission Beyond Overlord. Yeah, so uh, it's been around 14 episodes of Combat Mission Beyond Overlord. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, yeah, so the episodes so far have focused on the scenarios based on the Normandy in the early goings of the operation. The last one basically being the fictional backdrop to the movie called Saving Private Ryan around week into the Overlord uh, after the D-Day landings. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I think the United States Army uh, then, along with the Commonwealth, trying to still find some ground or footing upon which they can expand their forces and sweep the Germans, the defenders, across the rest of France. And you have that big operations at Calais, no, not Calais, sorry, Caen and Carentan and other places. and trying to create a pocket of German resistance called Farley's Pocket and close it. And it uh, was able to uh, remove a lot of the German defenders from Germany across the Siegfried line and reinforcing there. So there was a success. Uh, but after that, there was a counterattack during the winter of 1944, considered Hitler's last gambit of trying to deny the Allies the use of the Belgian port of Antwerp. And there was um, Battle of the Bulge. Yeah, for the first time in this um, uh, series of Let's Play, I'll be trying one such scenario called Fear in the Fog. I think that's why it is. Yeah, that deals with the um, Ardennes offensive mounted by the Germans, uh, opposed by the paratroopers. Um, so, one of the reasons why I want to try this is also to. Uh, show how the fog effects are like in this game and one of the viewer has requested I play it and he has offered interesting uh, way of trying to make the game work better in the modern system uh, by placing some uh, DLL files and yeah I mean uh, I tried to do it uh, and the most part it worked uh, I was able to not rely on the control alt to get out the program first and then return uh, to make the game work smoothly, and I don't know what you know what is behind all that uh, mechanism or why it makes it play smooth. Maybe the Windows put more resources into the game so it doesn't struggle as much. Um, yeah, but then that unfortunately removes the fog effect, and that has been a known issue. He also suggested I try to um, use something called DDRO uh, com compatible or something. Uh, there was another DLL file that I can place. And that worked, actually. They worked along with the fog effect. But then the problem is, uh, right after that, I wanted to, uh, I was really, really happy about this whole thing and then tried to record it right away. But um, unfortunately, the recording software that I'm using, Bandicam and um, uh, Frefs, do not seem to recognize the DirectX mode that this game runs in, in that DLL mode. Um, I was able to record the game uh, in of itself, but the title and the 2D menu system in the front, what do you call it, the uh, yeah, graphical user interface uh, where you select the missions and scenarios and go through all the briefings and whatnot, it cannot be recorded for some reason. And I tried to use MSI Afterburner, too, but I don't know, it caused a bit of a problem with uh, my computer. Uh, I don't think the game is a problem there, but it's just that Afterburner software is not really not really good with my system. It doesn't work really well. So unfortunately, I had to go back to the original, uh, verify and reinstall the game using GOG, uh, whatever they have. And uh, yeah, I'm back trying to see if the fog effects are still there. I think it is still there. I did Control-Alt, uh, got out of the program and came back. And one of the uh, tips I can offer you, although it's really rudimentary, and this is just based on my uh, 20 odd hours of playing the game. If you try to control alt out of the game while in the menu, it is more prone to crashing. But if you control alt while in the game, then it is more likely to stick and not crash. So if you wanna try to uh, use the more rudimentary method of being around this problem, then control alt during the game when the you know game is running uh, with all the models and everything has been loaded and has a higher likelihood of going back 
you know, not crashing out. So I hope you, you'll be able to find the, uh, I mean, if you're not recording, then you can just download the D draw DLL from D direct com compatible. I'm not so sure what the actual name is. I will mention it in the comment section and check it out. But if you're not recording or anything like that, then you can just probably put that thing in and just get to playing it because only the recording aspect of it is kind of broken. Yeah, so it's, there's a lot of things to um, take care of. But, you know, uh, without further ado, let's go into this scenario called Fear in the Fog, 25 turns uh, medium map. Uh, paratroopers and Volks grenadiers search for one another through dense fog, so it has features of some weather nice fog generated by some... Um, I heard that it's kind of a table effect or something. Uh, calculate with the table instead of vertices or something. Yeah, it's really above, far above my head, but uh, there's some problems with the way they rendered it and how it works in the newer DirectX API. All right, so, oh yeah, and then I want to mention the another problem if you use the DDRL, DLL, is that this color kind of changes to dark blue or something, and then the, yeah, the lettering kind of changes in the weird graphical manner so there has to be some kind of fix for that too and the screen is a bit brighter because i have this um, m flux the program that runs in the background and changes the temperature of the monitor colors to make it a bit more easier in the eyes i guess i'm getting old or something but that bypasses it somehow and then the screen is really bright um yeah on the whole it works really well yeah so this is a, a scenario that is based uh, further into 1944. Now, I think I mentioned it beginning. I don't know whether I did it or not, but what I wanted to do was um, try to play the scenario kind of in fitting with the season. So if it's summer, I will try to play the summer missions. And as it progressively goes into winter, I go into um, Ardennes and spring, I will play the mission space out of Germany. Um, but then, you know, I thought that maybe it's gonna just take too much time, and I'm basically behind, you know, uh, still in June or July, but now it's August. I'm getting behind, so I'm just skipping ahead a bit to play the mission based uh, in Ardennes, and it's going to be pretty uh, interesting how I able to fare because I only played summer maps. All right, so let's read this. The arrival of the 101st Airborne Division, the Screaming Eagles, was without a doubt what kept the principal road hub city of Bastogne in the Ardennes from falling, the three advancing German divisions. The intervention of Combat Command B, 10th Armored Division, on December 18th and 19th certainly slowed down the enemy, but they were just not powerful enough to stop them. By the end of the 20th of December, most of the 101st was in position, forming a ring around Bastogne. The 501st Regiment was stationed east and to the southeast. The 506th planted itself inside Bastogne and to the north. The intervention in Noville definitely put a cramp in German plans to assault Bastogne from that direction. The west of Bastogne was the 502nd. Inside Bastogne, remnants of the 28th Division and CCR, 9th Armored Division, formed Task Force Snafu. U.S. Army acronym for Situational Normal, all fouled up. Okay. Yeah. Against this makeshift dike of tanks and humanity crashed the German tidal wave. The first bloody attacks failed, and slowly the German waters of attack swept around Bastogne and completely cut it off. This move on the part of the German leaders did not mean that Bastogne was no longer to be taken. On the contrary, the Germans continued to make efforts to conquer the city. On December 21st, troops of the 1st Battalion, 77th Regiment of General Kalkot, 26th Volksgrenier Division, began an operation to sneak through the seam of defensive positions of the 501st and 506th U.S. Parachute Regiment. Their goal was to flank American positions near Foy. Using a heavy morning fog as cover, they began moving behind the lines of Colonel Sink's 501st Parachute Regiment. Warned of the danger by patrolling units on his left flank, Sink sent two companies of 2nd Battalion to stop the encroachment. The colonel did not know at the time that he was dealing with an entire battalion of German soldiers with armor support. With visibility near zero in icy cold conditions, the paratroopers began to hunt for the approaching infantry. It did not take long to find them. Eliminating the threat to Bastogne, however, would prove to be a hard fight. 
Oh boy. Okay, if you have trouble navigating around the 3D map in the fog, just pressing Shift W to turn off fog graphics. Well, I tried to do it um, first, see how it looks like. Yeah, uh, allied. Sure. Strategic situation. The major German counterattack through the Ardennes is in full swing. German forces from the 2nd Panzer and 26th Balls Grenadier and Panzer Lear divisions have slammed against the defensive wall around the city. That wall is formed primarily by Triad Troopers of the 101st Screaming Eagle Division. A subtle move under the cover of heavy fog, the Germans moved toward Beston behind the lines of the 101st Parachute Regiment. Mission You are to intercept and stop the German advance towards Beston. The key positions you are to hold to counter the enemy's progress are marked with victory flag. Also be advised that any German units that exit the west edge of the map will count against you. Intelligence. Observation post stationed to the northeast and reported strong enemy movement toward West Stone. The intense fog has made it difficult to determine the size of the German force. Forces. Colonel Sink has placed two reinforced rifle companies at your disposal. The exact size and location of the enemy unit is unknown at this time. Two tanks from CCB will support your search. Reserves. One of your companies is slightly behind and will arrive shortly, but there are no reserves available. Every man is needed in the line for defending Bastogne. Once again, you have to make do, Major. The enemy must be stopped here and now. We are screaming eagles. We can do it. Well, I hope that I get some veteran soldiers. Alright, so uh, here is the fog effect. Yeah, so if you had a GOG version, I'm sure that you'd be able to get this fog effect uh, as well. I'm sure, uh, but then the game is not going to run in a in a manner that uh, it's going to be playable. It's going to stutter unless you control Alt out of the game while running the game, uh, preferably, and that's going to uh, hopefully give you this experience. So let's examine the troops. Uh, we have these three um, groups here, colored differently. One is orange, one is red, one is white. So I think this is command CCB or remnant of CCB. And all right, so we have this Sherman that is going to be very useful for us. I need to keep it around as much as possible. And these guys are rifle company. Yeah, so we need to go to areas here, and which is called rail station, and some place called Savvy or nearby in order to stop the Germans approaching Bastogne from east and they try to use this area to let's do this yeah they try to use this area to head toward this section which is going to be a skirt to Bastogne which means that they're trying to encroach upon this a very critical city where the 101st Screaming Eagles are stationed, so we need to halt. Yeah, basically, as they say here near the rail station, halt them in their tracks. Um, uh, as you can see, the high ground are around. This is low ground, and I don't really see a lot of high ground here. It just seems that these are where we can. Hope to set up the tank and stuff like that. I don't know where exactly the German forces are coming from, but yeah, there is plenty. There are plenty of Germans to shoot. We need to set ourselves up as close as possible to the rail station and maybe uh, take these areas ourselves with machine guns and the like. So let's examine the troops. So we have a machine gun, is yeah, uh, I said it right away. And bazooka, okay, rested. We have a paratrooper, another machine gun, paratrooper. Oh, father, interesting. Very interesting indeed. And company HQ, alright. Some heavy guys here. This is another MG, yeah, another MG here, bazooka. Yeah, obviously the paratrooper squadron is going to make beeline here, the orange guys, and take over the rail station defense and a lot of Germans engage while these guys will try to go into 
uh, this area maybe try to outflank them. That's probably why it is separate. These guys will race toward Savvy. Alright, so let's try if I can place these guys a bit forward. Yeah, and these guys too. This is just a spotter, and I believe that this might be able to bring some um, 103 ammo, so plenty of ammo. Uh, but then these guys will probably provide some indirect fire. Um, so it needs to stay in the high ground near the edge of the forest, perhaps around here. You know, I think the bulk of the forces will come over here, I think. And maybe the rest will try to beat her off and take this road as well. And this is rather interesting because they don't have exactly... Uh, yeah, they don't really have exact uh, fortifications around this point, on this crossroad. So this is not going to be enough because they just try to run past us. Then it's going to be just yeah, for naught. So there is some reserves coming. So the reserves will maybe form a defensive line around Bastogne itself. Yeah, alright, let's examine these guys. Uh, paratrooper squadron, other machine gun, paratrooper, bazooka, yeah, so they're all balanced out with the Sherman. Alright, so let's see uh, if I can bring these guys up a bit too. I don't know whether it really matters, but yeah. Yeah, it's only 25 turns. Interesting. Yeah, the fog effects are pretty good. This is like table volume fog or something. Let's try to um, try to move everybody. Okay, so what we have right now is the just general direction. Um, trying to move into the rail station as fast as possible while these guys will bring up the rear and see if any Germans are coming this way. So they just yeah, set up their defenses around this area. Um, I don't know whether I did it right. Yeah, and just scatter trees, that is. So these guys in the middle will try to arrive at the rail station, while these guys will try to uh, get to this road and with the protection of these guys, uh, stationed, will really quickly like run using this road through this Avenue or the road to arrive at Savvy and take up uh, some uh, defensive posters here and also here. And if the reserves come, they will head to Veston itself or head to the defenses. There is some tanks coming, some heavy uh, machinery that's going to be involved. This is a critical time for the Americans. And this is going to be a basic defensive work. They try to uh, stop the Germans from crossing into the city, reaching the city. This is 25 turns. I think I hear some vehicle. Yep, this is 25 turns, and I think that we're going to beat the Germans really quickly. Probably two or three turns. I'm thinking that Germans will arrive around here really quickly uh, while buying us a bit of time for these guys to arrive at Savvy in 5 turns or so. Maybe I should run um, because they really need to be quick about this. Yeah, this guy, I don't know how far this guy can actually aim. Direct the mortar fire. Yeah, so 60 seconds is done. They have still movement left. Enough for these guys. So yeah, these guys are more or less going to be stationed here, just buying some time. Um, and these guys might need to move also here. Okay, so this is yeah, not really that much changed from the first turn. The weather seems to be foggy. Um, so even with the weather clearing, not snowing, I don't really see any snow in the ground. 
still the Air Force is not going to provide any support. Yeah, without air support, the Americans were in big trouble. They were uh, very, very, very much embattled and under siege and not in a really good situation. Uh, they had to just hold out against the Germans. Then they were almost, I don't know whether they're almost broken, but in terms of resources and uh, you know, testing of the limits, I think they were definitely at the very end of their limit. All right, so let's continue on. I hope that I didn't make a mistake. I'm trying to not make them run. Be quiet. And these guys are all regular veterans. They're regular experienced troops. Yeah, really need to hustle up here, boys. I wonder why they didn't use half track. Yeah, I think I need to move now because I don't see any Germans here, so I need to probably cross into the other area. Um, maybe then, maybe then we'll be able to outflank the Germans in time. Yeah, and now... Petropress. Speed is of the SS, boys. Nothing much happening, but now I can direct these guys to... Um, move and... This heavy building, yeah. Kind of telling that this is heavy building because it's going to be uh, exposed to a lot of fire. A lot of fire, indeed. And the machine gun is going to... Uh, let's see, where can the machine gun go? Tough floor. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not so sure about placing these guys in tough floor so exposed with the... Um, I see what happens, but if they bring the tank, then I have no chance against the tanks. Um, so I need to probably move them somewhere else. Martin HQ. Move to this area. Uh, another machine gun. Okay, so let's get this guy. Here first and then move up. I wonder if I... I mean, if I give them multiple directions, I can select them whether to move them upstairs or not. They just go inside the building and I could probably direct them again, so... Maybe I just give them order to just move into this building first and foremost. Oh. Okay, I can't even do that. Alright, fine. Another patch of squadron. Um, okay, so... Go here. Let's just spread these guys out a bit. Uh, let's see. Light building, heavy building, so yeah. Okay, so... For the rest of the units, rest of the group here, I give these guys to run behind the rail station. Now, because I am more or less covered by these guys, these guys will take a position here to see uh, whether I can target the Germans from the middle part. I think, I think in the end, I think I need to I need to move this guy around here or even here to see uh, and to try to spot you know um, why don't I do that right now so these guys will move into the building and these guys they run as for the guys here on the right flank they try to cross the road and just stay on the edge of this wood while these machine guns will uh, kind of stay here uh, just to see if, uh, to ascertain whether this is safe area then they'll try to move around uh, and see whether they can target the Germans from the back hopefully and this tank will also move uh, around here just to see uh, whether they can use a high ground 
like here for example yeah that's probably higher ground I really see well okay so right now we are taking the first uh, area to capture a victory area but yeah I mean it's just trying to stop the Germans from coming and crossing into the Bastogne area I wonder where the reinforcements will come or when the reinforcements will come hopefully soon alright let's go I think I'll meet the Germans in the next turn at the very least That's my tank, not the Germans. Oh man, if I'm not careful, I might have to fight the Germans for this area. Uh, to capture this area. Is anybody here yet? No, not yet. Yeah, I will not get the fog effect off. At any moment when I'm starting the scenario, just to you know see clearly what is happening. I don't know whether it has to do with the actual visibility of enemies. Yeah, the tank stopped, and yeah, my guys are entering this area, and some of these guys will. Yeah, mostly the Germans will take this road, I think. Because, I mean, this is a road, right? This is actually a road here, but they might take the railway too, especially for the infantry. Since we don't have any bazooka here that can go up against the armor that well. I mean, of course they have uh, gammon bombers, I think. They have some kind of a... no, they have rifle grenade. Yeah, so these guys are anti-infantry, these guys are more uh, anti-tank perhaps. It's more heavily armored with the mortars and the... Uh, and uh, what is it, bazookas. As you can see, some of the bazooka men trailing behind at that. No machine gun is trailing behind, they're still running though. Open HQ, spotter, yeah. Bazooka... Yeah, bazooka is here, there's only one bazooka man. Need to move these guys at take now. They might take this road as well, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. So we just have to wait. These guys will advance a bit further into the wood. Yeah, there's so many bazookas here. Yeah, there's one bazooka here, okay. It's HQ. Alright, okay. Machine guns. We have two bazooka units. Uh, in total, I think. Union machine gun, bazooka. That's HQ. Good. I need to give them new orders. Alright, so... Um, these guys, the right flank, is trying to go into the wood. Um, have a different set path. Trying to intercept the Germans. I don't know how long their convoy is going to be, but it's going to be pretty narrow because of the woods surrounding the road itself. And um, and what I'm going to do is uh, after I move these guys here, set them up. I try to see if I can move some of these guys and join these guys up north because I do believe that this is going to be the main pathway the Germans would take, like this way. They could also take this way, but then it's kind of more. Um, yeah, I'm sure they can take this way, but I don't know exactly what they're going to do. So that's why I'm deciding um, whether to move these guys and try and support them. Uh, the mortar will be there and we take on the first point fortunately and I think the Germans will notice that. Uh, I don't know how fast are they are moving. I don't think they are moving that fast. I don't really hear them at all right now. 
and make the more veteran guys run for the edge of the forest. Uh, try to buy for savvy. Uh, the more green troops will kind of follow behind. Yeah. So let's see what happens because uh, I think the Germans uh, definitely might be around here. I'm not so sure. I don't really hear them, but he could probably start just like us with the infantry kind of scouting the area first. And then moving with the, uh, you know, kind of scattered, more staggered reinforcement, heavier and heavier uh, attackers coming, coming in, right, to punch a hole through this area. Okay, so let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't save. Oh well. This guy's arrived. Anybody? Can I see here yet? No. Don't see anybody. Yeah, the veteran guys are definitely quicker and they react to the react to the order a lot faster than the green guys. Green guys are kind of lagging behind as you can see. Well these guys are kind of yeah, kind of rest but then yeah they're still moving. Alright. I hear a gunfire in the distance. And that is not the Sherman, that is a German vehicle, I can hear. Yeah, the tanks are coming, folks. The tanks are coming. Okay, there is a visitor guy. Alright, yeah, so tank is definitely coming, as you can see. I don't know whether that is a... a sound, I don't know, it's just a sound context, so we need to see, but... Oh, wow, in the wood, no less. Oh my goodness, the Germans are coming in through this area. Uh, so we need to be prepared. Uh, they're in the open ground too, okay, it's not bad. Right here. Yeah, these guys might be wiped out. Don't be careful. Oh, they're infantry. That's a good guy. Take of shop here, here. Uh, there's a the machine gun guy up there now. Okay, can you target some of these guys? No. Oh my gosh. Why is this happening? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I should have known. It's kind of hard to know exactly uh, what these guys will be able to target or not. You know what? <sighs> Move up here. the forest. I don't know whether you'd be able to actually spot the guys. I mean from the second floor here. Not be able to see it though. Um, yeah, not be able to see it. Even from the second floor. I don't know why but it seems like it's there's a vantage point, I mean, is it blocked? I guess it is. But from here, I think you'll be able to... From here, I think you'll be able to see it. I'm not so sure. Let's try to rotate this guy anyways. Or even place him a bit closer. Okay, so here is the plan. Um, taking a bit of retreat back. I mean, I should have left these guys here on the edge of the wood. I was too impatient though, and started moving in, and now what I have is Germans like 30 feet out. Here, and here. 
infantry, followed by the support, armor support. So I'm trying to move them back into the scattered tree area while the bazooka is will move kind of closer or farther back to see what this guy is all about. And maybe draw these guys fire, uh, hopefully toward this uh, bulk of the troops. Draw them, but I don't know whether it's going to be effective or work. Because they have already engaged it and I think these guys will suffer some casualties. It's unfortunate. Now these guys will move uh, towards Savvy. And some of these guys are tired. So they will just rest on the skirts of this road. While the rest of these guys, yeah, um, I don't know whether this guy is able to spot. But he's moving up. Uh, not. He's going to move up into the second floor of the building. I don't know whether I made a right. Nope, I haven't done it. So let's do it once again using this. Send him to the top so he'll be able to see better. Hopefully, and direct some fire now. Um, for this area, I oh, know. Yeah, so this is a very sticky situation once again for me. Uh, Alright, well, this time let's save. Uh, the only turn that I didn't save is to encounter the Germans. Just my luck. We hear some shooting. Yeah, we're engaged. Medic? Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, right away. These guys will set up position here. Cover our retreating troops. These guys will move back, see if they can support. And I think. This guy, yeah, we had to move here. And, and made out. Okay, suffering to a casualty. Alright, so how about here? Um, we know that German infantry is crossing this wood. And we'll soon be able to, yeah, we'll soon get this guy's attention. It's too bad, they cannot really. Yeah, it's just too bad. Move here. Range is just not good. Yeah, I don't know, I don't understand. Once again, I don't understand. Uh, I guess this is how they look yeah, from the perspective of the soldier. More or less. Seriously, they can't really. Yeah, I guess, I don't know, side block. Hmm. Is it because of the fog? Could be. It's definitely a possibility. I'm worried that these guys will just cross nearly really into this road and make way. I mean, I'm going to stop them if they were to try to cross here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely stop them. <sighs> I think I'll be able to do it. Okay. Move a bit farther back in preparation. I think it's a bit too close for comfort. Move it to scatter trees. Tired. Alright, well, I mean, they're almost there though. 
All right, so uh, what I've done is uh, try to move these guys back to the uh, other safer area. Tank kind of protecting, overseeing this uh, road. I don't know whether the German infantry will buy it and try to cross the road themselves. And hopefully by then we'll be ready to attack back. While we're trying to still uh, rearrange ourselves here to try to get the better angle of attack against the Germans coming in. While these guys, uh, yeah, uh, still, I don't know whether the Germans will try to come from here. That would be pretty interesting, if that's the case. Um, yeah, I need to prepare for that also, but for now they're trying to move up into the crossroad. Uh, while the machine guns are kind of taking behind them on the both side of the road and move along with the troops as they uh, find uh, whether there are any Germans uh, nearby. I think they will be. Alright, let's see what happens. Yep, that's what I'm trying to do, secure the flanks. Uh, I don't know what the Germans are trying to do. I think they may be waiting. These guys are moving uh, for where they war after he turns back. And I think the Germans are now trying to just move along this railroad. Just have to stop them. Uh, from crossing into the other area, to the west edge of the map. Yeah, so these guys all made their way. This guy is not rotating. But we are ready if they try to come here. Uh, I don't really see them though. Maybe they're waiting for the rest of the troops to come. Okay. And yeah, Bazooka is also there. Veteran Bazooka, so it's going to be very important for us to keep them alive as much as possible and use all of their ammo, their shells, or their. Uh, what do they call it? Yeah, their shells, I think. Or uh, yeah, rocket propelled grenade, RPG. These guys really don't. These guys don't see anybody yet, because of the sight blocked by this wheat. The French have abandoned their wheat field, their crops, going to waste. Anywho, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's kind of blocked. Really, all of them are blocked. Not tired yet, but it's going to be tired soon enough. Move this guy in here. Normally, um, I mean, the infantry will still be able to move through the forest. Problem is their heavy armor that's going to pose far greater threat. Uh, infantry might be able to fight in the forest and, you know, we slow down in the forest. But the, the heavy armor is definitely going to make its way using the road. And if I get a reinforcement, then I'm going to definitely uh, place these guys all around a stone. Um, here it is more or less filtering out the Germans, uh, their infantry, in this medium map. While we may allow the German uh, heavy armor maybe to pass, not here, but around here, maybe if things get too hot. Um, no, we cannot really allow them to pass, we need to destroy them, but we can allow the infantry to pass, that's what I meant, uh, to be faced further in the back, near the stone. The area is pretty large though, so yeah, it's going to be problematic. We need to track them uh, if they yeah, try to just spread apart and there's no stopping them from doing that. Okay, so this guy uh, made its way. Let's see if I can move them a bit. Um... Yeah, I think I leave this guy here just in case. I might, might need them to... I want to try something. I want to try to see if I can move this guy here and then aim a bit better and then if I can then move all these guys out including the machine gunner and 
This is Mission Gunner. I'm gonna move him a bit closer to the edge of the higher ground. So I'm going to do, and this guy, yeah, will arrive there and then try to cover for us. Okay, so the Germans' contact have been lost once again. I think they are there, but they're not exactly where they are. Of course, this is the last time we've seen them, the last known area or known location. Just wait for them and see what their next move is. You're in the fog indeed, yeah. A lot of fear. You don't know where these guys are coming out from. Uh, we are ready though. I don't know. Yeah, you see they are slowly approaching. But they are not be able to see us, right? Because we cannot see them. We need to get the bazookas ready. One of them is here. Yeah, so we need to get this guy maybe moving up once again for this edge of the wood. From this high ground, maybe I will target the tank if I'm lucky. The tank is still to be going this direction, but I think he's gonna turn uh, right back here. And this guy will have to face that threat. It's definitely a tank. I don't know whether it's a tiger or a panther. Maybe it's going to be the first time that we're going to face a panther, the bounded medium tank. Yeah, we've taken the other uh, area, other point. So now our victory point, you know, basically 98% is good shot. And it's a better range, yeah, definitely better range. Okay. Uh, what can we do here then? Uh, we can get this guy. I'm trying to move them back. I think the Germans are moving through the forest. That's what I think is happening. It's all blocked. Oh my goodness. It's in good. This guy a bit. Here. Alright, so what happens here now? Better and uh, paratrooper. Uh, not going to do well against the tank. Just hide them for a second. Let's gather trees. I think they'll be able to hide for a while. Hopefully. And the bazooka is also hide. So, do I have a bazooka here? No, we have a border set up now. We can indirect fire this guy, right? Smoke. Okay. Yeah, the range is not good. Um, this is disappointing because I thought that I'd be able to make it. Uh, yeah, I thought that I'd be able to make it. But apparently it's not enough. Uh, let's just check the half key, sorry. Oh uh, no. Dang it. Ah, <sighs> boy. The other useless guy, uh, side block. I can't seem to figure out the. I mean, I don't know whether the later the mission game has improved upon this, but I just can't figure out why it's not able to see from the second floor of the building. Basically, out passes or overlooks everything. Uh, yeah, I don't understand this. Okay. You point up, you point down. Okay, let's see that then. You point up, you point down. Oh, this is not how it works. Okay, well, from here, I guess I can do it. I do it. 
No, you can't. Yeah, I mean, you can still probably see it, but you can, you can draw a line from here to here without any kind of obstruction. I understand, I mean, you can. Let's see if this is possible. Yeah, I cannot do it because it's not identified yet, but soonish it's going to be. I can do area target, I guess that does kind of compensate for not being able to see it directly. I'm not so sure. I have to try it out. The trial and error. Yeah, so the tank, German tank got the high ground now. We need to respond by making this guy also. This is an upgrade version of the Sherman. This is not the, the regular old Sherman that we used to know. And we hunt here. If the tank closes here, then we'll be able to uh, shoot. Yeah, hopefully, because it's higher ground. Right, and... Side block, okay. This machine gun guy, well... Let's move up. Save up. No, can't. Yeah. Is it a bug or maybe it's too heavy to bring uh, upstairs? Uh, who knows? Here, I cannot really see anything as well. Side block. Fire has because of the fog, yeah. Maybe I'm um, not really thinking about the effect of fog right now. That's probably why I am kind of default on why I cannot really see in front of me that well. Side block, side block. I don't think Germany should come from here. It looks like they're probably also right using this road. If I cannot target this crossroad from this area, then I also need to set a different course of action. Move, move, okay. Yeah, how about this guy? Yeah. I see what happens. I mean, this is a good point to uh, engage them too. Um, but we'll see. And there is a tank coming. So, yeah, that's that. And I don't really see anybody. This German is probably crossing the, the forest. We need to cross the forest as well. them. Bend on the break. Yeah, the tank is still breaking its way. This must be half track. Light armor, it says. Yeah, where's the tank? It's only just up here. The MG. This guy is moving back. Yeah. And the Vasuka. Right. 
Apparently the tank disappeared. I don't know whether it just stopped or waiting for the rest of the troops to come through. Alright, this is good news. This is good news. Reinforcements arrived. Let's see what they made up of. Okay, so this particular guy also could sneak here. This guy will yeah, just see uh, whether the Germans are coming from, sneaking around. This guy will hunt still. And uh, this is disappointing. <laughs> yeah, we need to do this. Yeah. How about this? This is better. This is a bit better. Out of range, but you can definitely fire if anybody comes here. And I think the tank is able to fire uh, using this corridor. I think it's definitely going to be stationed here. Uh, this paratrooper squadron got to counter the Germans coming out. This guy could work and move a bit here. There was a tank sound contact near here, but I don't know whether it stopped or not, but it's disappeared. So, we need to see what's happening. Uh, maybe. Because the guy's gonna come and he's going to hide around here. And then open up. Uh, it's the, maybe the hop check is gonna engage, this guy is gonna open up. Alright, so we have reinforcement. Let's see what we have. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Yeah, this is going to be a big battle uh, without question. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Alright, folks. Whole new ball game. Given what we have here, yeah, there's no question that we're going to face a lot of armor. Uh, let's fast track this movement. The massive, massive um, reinforcement arrived. I'm just basically moving them all up right now. Um, just stagger their movement up a bit. So what do we have? We have uh, another machine gun guy. Okay, air trooper guy. I guess I could move these guys down here instead of going up like. To rail station. Uh, do we have any mortar guy here? No, we don't have any mortar. Okay. We have a machine gun guy. We have a very important uh, spotter with 100 free ammo. Going to work really well. And we have Sergeant Bagby here with a grenade. Pet trooper and a lot of pet troopers. Okay, another machine gun. You guys are moving up. And filling the ranks behind these guys. And also, um, in this area. Alright, well, let's see. Yeah, this is going to be a huge battle, without a doubt. I see a lot of Germans. I don't see them. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it makes me uh, fear the fog even more. Like uh, that movie, what's it called? The Mist or something? Where the monsters came out of the fog that descended on some uh, east coast town. Um, yeah, it kind of feels like it. 
something might just pop out of the fog and snatch these soldiers one by one. Alright, well, uh... Yeah, we'll make them move a bit. Um, we'll make them move in a way that is that makes sense. Like, for example, here. These guys are all high. Out of fear. Stick together. These guys will go to the rail station proper first and see what we can do. Very variable man here with bazooka and the like. Okay, so I uh, uh, I did tweak the movement of these guys' uh, reinforcement up a bit. I think we will try to move up here. Um, okay, we haven't faced the Germans yet, so they're really they're basically preparing for massive assault against all lines, against our troops. And as you can see from this, um, yeah. Soldiers lying prone, they're all hiding. I'm just waiting for them to come closer and then we try Oh, infantry is coming from this area. Okay, now we found the German here. Yeah, finally found them. So let's see what we can do against these guys crossing into the forest. We'll uh, have to fight them with these guys and these guys. That blood, okay. Where is that MG? I block. Yeah, we'll be able to fight them with multiple angles, including this guy, the tank. Alright, let's see what happens. Now, in the north, or I don't know whether this is north or not, maybe south. Um, yeah, we are here, and you can see, yeah, down the road, uh, not really close, but, yeah, we're able to see them, you can probably hide, yeah, still, we're able to see what is happening though, so that's good, I also hide. Sure, okay. I think I moved this guy a bit uh, out there, but here. And rotate. Still scatter trees, although it doesn't sound like it. Uh, may provide some protection, although not completely, like uh, wood. Well, wood is not a complete protection, but still it provides a bit uh, yeah, better. Move and hide, it's good. Yeah, I, won't, I don't really see where they're coming from. I can hear them, but. I don't know where they're coming from, really. Okay, so the Zuka could sneak a bit yeah, toward the back. I don't want them to expose. And, yeah. yeah they can... Yeah, they will find them. They're rotating. Yeah. They might shoot a mortar or something. Are they able to shoot now? Hit this guy. Oh yeah, we have a tank now. Uh, or hiding though. I don't know what kind of tank it is. They start moving now, they start moving. Uh, they have got the... Oh my gosh, no way.
moving slowly. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now this tank is right in the position. Okay, now they're not able to see us yet, but... Uh, okay, let's see what I can do is try to... Uh, I don't want to lose this tank right away. Reverse and then try to hunt. Reverse and rotate. They're all hiding, hiding, okay. Where's the bazooka? Let's just try to see if it works. Time one minute, okay. Let's see if I can target it. I get one minute. Okay. Just getting things warmed up. Um. Yeah. Okay. This guy is will. short no you guys just stop and uh, let's see what I can do here um, this guy is going to be attacked let's move a bit closer try to reflect them yeah, don't move a bit don't stray too far um, this guy is will be important but it's gonna stay in the back for now. Yeah, maybe the Germans will bring some mortars themselves. They're preparing to figure out where they can spot us. Alright, so Germans here. Okay, found them out. Okay, found them. Uh, should not have moved the... Uh, These guys will have to first move here, move here, and then set up the defenses, in the clearing. And these guys will counter these guys if they uh, try to attack the tank or um, Okay, so yeah, we are meeting the Germans now in the 11th turn. I mean, I uh, suspected that we're going to see them a lot faster that until it's halfway through. And uh, then uh, I'll be able to engage them. Yeah, some German infantry coming here. Uh, I need to reverse. Uh, okay, now we need to hit them too here. You really see them coming from the side, so let us try to move once again and close our perimeter around the Germans. Okay, so the tank here is going to reverse and try to entrap the tank here. These guys will start shooting if this guy comes any closer. I don't know whether that's going to have any effect, but yeah, it's going to maybe distract him from the tank. Now we found the first German trying to cross into this area. It's pretty funny that they're not using the road. Um, yeah, I think that's a really good tactic. So we are trying to run to make up for any lack of defense of the south of the rail station. And these guys run here in open space in order to counter the Germans trying to cross there. And um, yeah, I think they're also trying to cross like here, I think the infantry. So we need to be uh, hiding. Okay. We need to. Yeah, 
allow these guys to hold the objective and use these guys to uh, fight through the forest here and maybe these guys will try to fight I don't know, I have no idea what they're going to do after this alright so uh, yeah so we are basically uh, I don't know whether this is going to amount to anything right now my plan but it's going to come to a head uh, explosive uh, I guess encounter next turn and I think it's already been like 1 hour and 30 minutes of recording time so I guess I need to stop and unfortunately uh, yeah I did play almost half of the scenario but I didn't expect the encounter to be this late but yeah the last half is going to be uh, very very yeah it's going to be filled with a lot of different action and uh, hand wringing stuff like that so hopefully you can join me next time as uh, I try to defeat the Germans and the Germans off from reaching the stone and trying to relieve the troops there. Um, yeah, so hopefully the vlogging is going to help us as much as them. And until next time, please stay tuned.